Well, Tanner's old man taking inspiration from a beloved 1983 holiday film <laughs> to inspire families to visit his small community in Greene County. Of course, Cassie Hudson had to check this out. She's live in the studio with that story. Cassie, good morning. Good morning. Every year, people watch A Christmas Story over and over again during the holiday season. Now, one local man is channeling his inner Ralphie Parker to spread cheer this December. The story begins in the painted village in the sky. We're here. <laughs> It's here in Tannersville that a small 80 square foot storefront on Main Street is bringing a Christmas story to life. Oh, it was really great to see the kind of the joy and the awe in the kids. Restaurateur and entrepreneur Ryan Chadwick is behind the holiday display inspired by the famous movie. One fragile, excuse me, fragile item inspired the whole display. My wife and I bought our house. We inherited the Christmas story lamp was in our um, game room. And like the movie, his wife wasn't overly fond of it. So my wife didn't really, wasn't in love with the lamp and she wasn't sure what to do with it. And um, this little sliver came up and I was thinking of the Macy's storefronts back in the 50s and 40s. What he thought would be two days to stage the display turning into eight days plus two weeks to set it up. Most of the vintage holiday items are sourced locally from friends and local businesses, with the exception of Ralphie's bunny suit and beloved Red Rider BB gun, which came from Amazon. A toy train set, which I think that Ralphie looks in the window and he's mesmerized in the movie. One of his favorite items is the giant life-size vintage Santa, driving to Albany to pick him up. The display is sponsored by The Boathouse, Ryan's restaurant right around the corner, on the storefront window providing a QR code so anyone who visits can get a free hot chocolate or s'mores if they stop by. Yeah, I think maybe this will spur up some competitive holiday window dressing. So that's my goal, is to have other people on Main Street. After unveiling the Tannersville Christmas Story window display on Friday, he says the word is quickly spreading. It's been really exciting and Brian's done a really tremendous job in kind of reinvigorating the holiday season for us with this beautiful window display. And the window display will be up past the holidays and Ryan tells me that stores on Main Street have already started to decorate exactly what he wanted. There oh, you go. So great. And for details and directions to the window display, you can just visit our website at news10.com. It really it's fantastic. And it's a lost art. You know, there's some of the stores in New York City that still do those big holiday Love window displays. Love to see displays, those when you go to the city, yeah. Not many.